Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Welcome everyone to the Rachel Varga podcast and in today's show we're going to cover adrenal fatigue, sleep optimization and all of how that all is wonderfully and beautifully and intricately connected to the skin and our aging process. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you know when new episodes are dropped like this episode and be sure to share with a friend or two. I actually just picked up a new Tibetan bowl, but I'm uh, lending it to one of my friends. So next time I go live here, you're going to be hearing this amazing bowl that I just found. I always like to do that. It's kind of cute. All right. Be sure to drop some questions in the comment section as well. And I will be sure to address them during today's live recording. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. All right. Well, first of all, what are ways that I reduce my adrenal fatigue and stress, even when it's hard? All right. This is where boundaries come in. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. When are you having your private time? When are you allowing yourself just a moment to kind of unwind and relax and keep the lighting low? Play some beautiful music. I've actually been playing some music lately. It's Solfaggio. You can just find it on YouTube, but it's at uh, very different frequencies according to the chakras. And I love it. I'll have it on in the bathroom while I'm doing my personal care stuff, washing my face, doing an atom chemical peel, dermal rolling, reading, just chilling the F out. And I love it because it kind of, it, it's really effective at kind of canceling background noise. And I do happen to know that a lot of you listening here on the show are relatively sensitive. We've got a lot of intuitives. We've got a lot of empaths in here. So the thing is, when we are a certain type of human, we tend to uh, get, get really stimulated very easily. So some of the ways that I reduce my adrenal fatigue, I already mentioned, I always have some alone time. Actually, I like to do it morning and evening. Yes, I know. No, this is different. If you have children, uh, I do feel a, a little bit blessed right now to not have kids because this time has been bonkers. If you are a parent, I, I tip my hat to you. I have no idea how you're handling it. Hopefully you're going to be able to take just a couple of nuggets from what I'm sharing in this episode, re-listen to this episode and slowly start to integrate a few more each and every day. And then you'll come up with this just beautiful morning and evening routine. You'll incorporate your skincare with it, your hair care, uh, reading, and also really just finding ways to support your body, mind, spirit, and energy. One of the other things I really like to do is on my cell phone, I always have my phone on airplane mode. And I also always have the do not disturb on and it is always silent. Okay. I didn't even plan that I was going to show you that. Those are the settings that are on my phone constantly. We are home a little bit more. So if you are home and you have your kids at home, why do you need to have your phone going all the time? I started to really observe uh, this in my clients who were kind of really stressed out, very characteristic of someone dealing with adrenal fatigue. It's they're very anxious. Uh, they tend to get distracted from this. It's it's like deer in headlights, right? There's this ding on their smartwatch. There's this ding over here. Oh, I got to get back to that text right away. You have to be really careful with your energy right now so that you're not giving away your energy to people that really, let's just be honest, don't freaking deserve it. Okay. Your time is your time. This life is your life. You do not know, you do not owe anything to anyone else. One of the things that I like to do, and I actually had someone teach me this, who is a health and wellness biohacking icon, to not give out your cell phone number. Only give out your cell phone number to very close friends and family. But when it comes to business and business associates and clients, I recommend that you keep all of that communication to email. Number one, you're going to have a written copy and record for everything, which is very professional. And number two, you're going to be able to respond when you are going to be 
better able to respond. This is really important because if you're having interactions with people and you're not in the right headspace, body, mind, spirit, energy, say you're stressed out, say you haven't had enough sleep, we're going to talk about way, ways that I optimize my sleep shortly here as well. You're not going to be sharing your truest version of you. You're probably going to be sharing a more kind of like anxiety driven type of version. And unfortunately, when you have interactions with people, when you're in that space, you're probably going to have somewhat negative interactions. Okay, it's also really easy right now for us to um, be interfered with through collective consciousness and fear and all of that. So we have to be very intentional with our communication with others right now. If we're not in the mindset to communicate, don't communicate, right? Communicate when you're ready. So when I hop on my computer here and I'm emailing all of my amazing clients, thank you all of you who've recently reached out to uh, place orders with me for skincare, supplements, hair care, all that stuff. I'm very intentional when I email my clients. I really enjoy that time and I don't want to be communicating in a haphazard way. I want to really, you know, tune into the person who I'm communicating with, be fully present. But you're not going to be able to do that if you constantly have dings on your phone, you're checking this, you're checking that. So what I want you to do is actually turn off all of your notifications on your phone. Your phone should only communicate with you when you communicate with it. This is something called digital versus analog. So my old school Jeep, I love that thing. That thing was a 94 Jeep Laredo. It was it was a V8. It was a beast. It was a monster. I called that thing wise woman. She got me out of a ton of four by four pickles. One of the reason I love that car is because it was analog. When I turned the key, it responded to me. Now I have, I've upgraded a little bit. And this is something that it, it's funny. I was doing a session with one of my counselors and this came up. She's like, we need to learn how to upgrade because humans we've never had to change in the ways that we're changing now and there's just been a lot of uh, shifts and activities and, and solar events if you are one of those individuals who are also electromagnetically hypersensitive you need to notice when you may be having those days where you really just need to relax and de-stress okay if you're feeling a little bit more fatigued there's nothing wrong with taking some time for yourself rebooking certain appointments it is a practice i do this is how I do not burn out. I haven't burned out in years. I follow my sleep metrics. I give myself the time I need to exercise, to eat right, and to have the off-grid times where I'm not being sent and received all the time through uh, digital forms of communication and electronics. So getting back to upgrading, I have a Land Rover. Now this vehicle can chew through trails it's very technical. Uh, I can articulate different passageways and rocks and mud and ruts and bogs. And it's all very exciting. We need to be able to upgrade the way that we are navigating through life right now. It's very important that we take the time to figure out what body, mind, spirit, energy practices work for us. So that's why off-grid days are so instrumental for me, so that I'm not constantly getting bombarded with EMFs and signals and all of that. I don't get cell reception, so there ain't no way I can check Instagram messages and get back to people. I'm there in nature. I'm enjoying the waterfalls. I'm enjoying the rain. I'm making a fire. I'm cooking game meat over a fire in the woods. Like This is how I reduce my adrenal fatigue and stress even when it's hard, even when I feel like I should just slog it out, keep working at home. It's like, no, I need to take this time to care for myself. The one thing I do not like about my Land Rover though, is that it is a digital vehicle. So it does have Bluetooth. It's got heated seats, which we know actually emit electromagnetic radiation and EMF. So it's funny. I actually don't feel as good on my off-road days in my new upgraded vehicle than I did in my older analog vehicle. It's very interesting, but I feel a little bit safer. I'm able to navigate challenging terrain and get to new places, not have as much anxiety. So it's actually a really funny uh, thing for me to share with you. It's I, I hope that you're understanding this analogy that I'm using with a vehicle and navigating through the path. So I'm here to help keep you all on the straight and narrow as much as I possibly can and just be really transparent 
as to what helps me navigate these crazy times. Because I hold space for a lot of people. You know, I have my skin camp programs. I do one-on-ones. I'm that person that my friends ring up when they have a problem. I want you to also... Um, if you have someone reaching out to me, reaching out to you for guidance and things like that, or you need to reach out to someone for help and guidance, be very clear. Do you want them to listen or do they want you to listen to them or are you wanting feedback or are they wanting feedback? Be very crystal clear about that. Okay. That's a very important way that we can now begin to address adrenal fatigue and stress in and amongst one another. We are all one. Uh, we're better together. We need to escape this mindset that we can do it all ourselves. We need to be able to lean on our community. I really encourage you to build your community. I talk about this in my ebook, Unlocking Your Vitality, how instrumental it is to create your team of healers, your team of guides who will help you navigate when times get tough and you need to support various elements of your body, mind, spirit, and energy. Do not be self-reliant. Have your community. This is where we're kind of going wrong right now, unfortunately. We want to be sovereign beings. We want to be sovereign as to what goes in and around our body, mind, spirit, and energy. But we also need to make sure that we have a very strong community around us. So that when we have a blip or when we need to get support and support one another, we can be there for each other. All right, how can we sleep better and age better? If we're wanting to address some of the root causes of stress and fatigue, you need to sleep better. And right now, I think many of us are having, you know, our thoughts are kind of running the show. We're not able to hone in our thoughts and kind of we're in this like ADD culture, right? It's, you have, you're looking at your phone right before bed and all of that. I really encourage you to actually switch out all of the lights in your home from LED to halogen, okay? All my lights in my home are halogen aside from my studio lighting here and on my devices. And it's really important because the sleep is hugely impacted by light and getting that sunshine in the morning and the sunset in the evening. These are all really important for our circadian rhythms. So being able to sleep well is the time when your body is going to relax, recharge, and rejuvenate. And with that, you're going to age better because your body is taking the time to regenerate itself and also fight things like free radicals in your body. We are exposed to so many different environmental triggers, electromagnetic toxins, environmental toxins rather, in and around our homes, our workplaces with our beauty products. So when you work with me, I'm making sure that you are accessing products free of paraben salate sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances, not tested on animals, and also are results based. So I've worked with many wonderful clinically based skincare brands that really put an emphasis on research as opposed to marketing and are also results driven, and they got the research to back it up. A lot of them are third party independent formulated and third party independent lab tested rather. So making sure that you are creating an environment in and around you and in your home and workplace for you and your family, where you're going to have lock, less of a toxic burden. I will actually do a uh, a little bit more of a deep dive episode on ways that we can do this. I have a friend, Amy Carlson, she's known as the toxin terminator. I do want to have her back on the show because she has so many wonderful things to share. Filtered water is also a great way to make sure that you are um, not exposing yourself to toxins and things like that. So sleeping better to age better, that absolutely should be a no brainer. Speaking of the brain, when you sleep, that's when your brain detoxifies. All right. That's when your mind slows down. That's when all of the cerebral spinal fluid in your brain actually ends up getting flushed out out through your spinal cord. We do not have lymph nodes in our brain and in our spinal cord, but when we sleep, our brain shrinks a little bit and then fluid can then move and toxins can then be mitigated throughout the body and flushed out, if you will. And if you don't believe me, there's a really good TED talk on brain detoxification. Uh, it's a couple years old now, a couple million views. It should be a lot more. 
because this is how the brain detoxifies itself is when we sleep. So the brain really mediates everything from hormones and all that. So when we're dealing with adrenal fatigue, our adrenals are really taxed, right? They'll sit right over top of your kidneys and they mediate things like cortisol. So if you're not sleeping, you're just trying to slog through it and push through it. At some point, you're going to crack, you're going to break, and you're going to get worn down and burnt out and experience adrenal fatigue. This is all too common right now. So when I think of someone like my husband as a pro athlete, his diet, his self care practices, his exercise is non friggin negotiable to my dismay sometimes because he's just so darn strict about it. But the thing is, is that if he isn't, he will probably get hurt in the ring. He's a six time pro world champion fighter. If he doesn't prepare, he will get hurt. Uh, if he doesn't prepare and look after himself properly, he will literally have more injuries and he has to care for himself so he can overcome those injuries. So when we look at people who are really successful in the world, they have excellent self-care practices that are non-negotiable. So how can we sleep better to age better? I am going to share some of my strategies here. And is getting better sleep easy or is it hard? I wouldn't look actually at it like being easier hard I would look at it like more of a journey and figuring out what works for you so for many many years I've used the aura ring to help track my sleep to help track my readiness score my heart rate my heart rate variability my temperature my activity scores and all of that now that model for that biohacking device has changed so I'm just sharing what I've done in the past which I got to know when I had a really great readiness score or when I needed to recover a little bit more. And someone like my husband, he is so incredibly tuned in to his body, mind, spirit, energy. He doesn't need biohacking devices and metrics to look at it. But for us lay people, they can be really helpful for us to figure out, okay, today might be a day where I didn't have the best sleep. I was a little bit wired last night for whatever reason. And uh, I think it's because I had a little bit of sugar. My, my husband made some banana bread with like some chocolate chips in it. And I, I, I know this about myself. If I have sugar before bed, I'm actually just a little bit wired. So we have to make sure that we're really being aware of what we're eating before bed as well. So really cut out the sugar, cut out that um, caffeine at about 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. I really avoid the alcohol. I can't stress this one enough. You might think that alcohol, oh, I'm just going to have a cocktail or a glass of wine. I really like Guinness uh, before bed. And it, it does actually tank my sleep. Sometimes I can get away with one Guinness if I have it around, you know, eight or nine. But if I have alcohol too, too close to bed, it tanks my sleep scores. So the other ways that I monitor my sleep and this this is a way to take the guesswork out of it to actually have some metrics to see if what you're doing is working is I actually use a mattress cover called the eight sleep, which you can get at rachelvarga.ca forward slash favorites. I have a, a specific promo code there that allows you to save about $150 to $200 off your mattress cover. I'm going to be doing another episode on that, but I sleep with that because it's temperature controlled. It keeps me cool when I need to be a little bit cooler. It warms me up when it's a little, it's about 60 degrees uh, in the evenings now. So I do like it to be heated and it also tracks my heart rate variability, my heart rate. So I actually just sleep on it and it tracks all those metrics for me and lets me know if I have a little bit of like a sleep deficit. It also helps. It's the one thing that's helped me with my HRV. So a lot of you tuning in here are menopausal women. You're having some hot flashes or you have a partner and you like to have your room at different temperatures. So you can actually schedule or, or uh, program one side of the bed to be at your partner's desired temperature. You can turn on autopilot. So we'll actually get smart and uh, pick which temperature at which sleep phase. It's really, it's really awesome. And then for me, I typically like it to be a little bit warmer than my partner's. So there are some really great uh, pieces of technology on the market in the biohacking world that can easily help you get better sleep right so the mattress cover the sorry the mattress pad or you can actually get like the whole mattress that um, basically has like water circulating through it and, and different sensors so it'll detect how many times you toss and turn is as well which is really really cool and also your hrv which is a really good metric of how well you're recovering it's the measure between your heartbeats 
So that can give you insight as to if you're coming down with something or if you're doing really well and you're recovering really well, you can crush it the next day. Or if you've had a bit of a lousy heart rate variability score, you can then take action to kind of manage your days a little bit slower, if you will. Over the last little while, personally, we've had a lot of solar flares and activity and just like ish happening in the world. Am I right? <laughs> it's just bonkers. It's like every day there's something new to be about, right? Or there's something to grab our attention and make us feel in fear. It's just, I'm so sick and tired of always being inundated with ish that doesn't matter. Hello, cell phone. Hello, the psychological manipulation over social media and what you can see online or not. Use DuckDuckGo, everybody. Stop using Google. Stop using Safari. Use Chrome. Use DuckDuckGo. And also bolster up your cybersecurity. So is getting sleep easy or hard? It's a journey. It uh, can be easier or hard the way that you look at it. Uh, optimizing my sleep now does feel easier. And having done this work over the last couple of years to really notice when I'm feeling really good, when I need to relax, recover and recharge and planning my days accordingly has really allowed me to overcome pain during my day, has allowed me to overcome things like adrenal fatigue. A couple of months ago, my hormones were super out of whack. I noticed some things going on with my cycle. What did I do? I did some biohacking tests. I'm actually going to be sharing a test where I actually had a phlebotomist come to my house and take a blood sample. And it gave me insights as to what my hormones were doing. And then I, I actually uh, cross-referenced those results with another test that I had done, which was a urine test, to see if the actions that I had taken to help balance my hormones had helped. One of the things that I do is I actually take this access endo protein. You can actually get this at rachelvarga.ca forward slash store. This is a protein that's designed to help with liver support, and your liver actually helps to mediate your hormones are really important. So, so this is come in circle, full circle. I mentioned alcohol. Alcohol is going to tank your liver's ability to do its thing. We know this alcohol negatively impacts the liver. The liver is really important for hormone metabolism. So you want to support your liver. So that's what this does. I notice now I don't even have freaking PMS symptoms. It's like, where the heck do they go? That's a really good sign that your hormones are in good check. But if you're feeling physically or mentally fatigued, I got another, I got another trick up my sleeve. For that. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's like mango. I love, love, love that. Okay. One other thing that I want to mention when it comes to hormones, because this is on the topic of adrenal fatigue, when I actually take this protein powder in the morning, I notice that it's got to be more balancing of my ghrelin and leptin levels, which are your um, hunger type of hormones. So ghrelin, if that's high, it's going to make you feel like a gremlin, you're going to want to eat everything in sight. That's when you're going to have like your sugar cravings, your carb cravings, you're gonna have those, those weak moments, if you will. And then we have our leptin, and that's basically the hormone that makes you feel satiated. So I find when I do have this in the morning, I am just a little bit more satisfied throughout the day, and I make better food choices. It's really, really important. So that's another way that I notice that my hormones are balanced is because my, my hunger and uh, my satiation is also balanced. All right. So what are some of the ways that I optimize my sleep? I have used the Aura Ring for many years. I use the Eight Sleep to Sleep On. You can get all this stuff on my favorites page at rachelvarga.ca. But the one thing that has made such a huge difference for me is I trust the Magnesium Breakthrough. So the Magnesium Breakthrough by BioOptimizer. I'm going to talk about a couple of supplements in this in this episode as well that had just helped me an insane amount to feel my best, even when it's hard, even when we're tired, even when we're dealing with all the ish in the world. So the magnesium breakthrough is pretty sweet. It's got eight different types of magnesium. Now, in my experience, when I've been researching different types of magnesium, they pretty much just have magnesium citrate. Okay. And sometimes if you take the wrong type of magnesium for you, it can actually mess with your bowel movements. 
and uh, make you have a little bit of diarrhea. So I find that this does not do that at all. You take this about two hours before going to bed. I do thank you bio optimizers uh, actually have a promo code to share. Go to megbreakthrough.com forward slash Varga, Varga and use promo code Varga10 for 10% off your order. That link, that code is in the description of this episode. So if, if you didn't remember, megbreakthrough.com forward slash Varga, promo code Varga10, that's going to get 10% off your order. Meg Breakthrough, pretty much everybody could benefit from this. This is a really, really helpful nutrient to have on board. It's all about having the right cofactors to basically allow your body to perform in the way that it wants to perform as the beautiful piece of machinery that it was designed to be. Okay. So magnesium is key for sleep. I cannot stress this one enough. If you're going to do one thing to change your sleep and you're looking for a sleep optimizing type of product, please do not go to a pharmaceutical that was maybe recommended for you to help you sleep and help you with your anxiety. Get to the friggin' root cause. Okay. A lot of you tuning in here are really uh, in tune with yourselves and you kind of know what I'm getting at here, but we need to get to the root cause. This is something that I was taught in nursing school. We want to get to the root cause. We don't just want to mask ish. We have to deal with it. It's like dealing with our body, mind, spirit, energy and our shadows and all of these things that are really instrumental to work on as a human and to become a more evolved and advanced human, if you will, that can navigate all the stuff we're going through with a little bit more grace and ease. And sleep optimization is 100% one of them. And they're like really small capsules are really easy to take just take two, about two hours before bed. Before making any lifestyle modifications, I do recommend you check in with your physician and always follow their advice. Uh, this is educational information only. And I'm just here to give you some recommendations because I hate to say it, our governments are doing a really bad job at doing it. And we have to become educated ourselves and do things that feel good for us that are in alignment with our highest good and also the highest good of humanity. This is this concept of community versus individuality. We're better and we're much stronger together. All right. So magnesium first and foremost is a supplement that I want you all to get on to help you sleep better, very well tolerated type of supplement. Honestly, I'm even going to be taking this one when I'm pregnant one day. Well, one day. Okay. So the other things I want to talk about are actually uh, things like physical and mental exhaustion. So one of the questions I might have for you, and you can please email me actually after the show info at rachelvarga.ca and let me know what you're feeling. I, I do prefer email communication over social media because when I do check social media, then it's like, I, I open a message, say it's a voice memo, then I have to get back to it right away. Otherwise, I'll forget about it. So you, you see how very uh, careful I am. And uh, I, I'm just very intentional with how I communicate. And when it's over email, we're going to communicate when it's at a good time for us, it's going to be a little bit better of an exchange. But it's also fun to hear from you on Instagram at Rachel Varga official, send me a DM but I do prefer email communication. I just feel like I can be a little bit more in the zone with you. So I love to ask my clients, friends, family, and you here tuning into the show, are you feeling physically or mentally exhausted? Okay. So some people are going to say things like, oh, by the end of the day, like two or three o'clock, I am just toast. I just want to take a nap. You know, I'm really feeling into this energy. My eyes are getting a little bit heavy. Heck, I want to take a nap right now. And it's like, 1130. <laughs> so we can either be feeling physically tired, or we can feel mentally exhausted. And one of my dear friends, I have just been noticing adrenal fatigue and exhaustion in this dear friend of mine for many, many years, and it kind of breaks my heart. But at the same time, it's kind of her choice, right? So save yourself, <laughs> lead by example, it's not our job to preach from their mountaintops how to save everybody else. I'm just offering up information that helps me and I've seen help a lot of people. 
So if you're feeling physically or mentally exhausted, I do actually have some formulations that can assist with that. And I'm going to show you actually what I take. And it's time for me to take them. It's funny. I always do this during consults. Uh, I'll take the supplements because I literally have all of my supplements on my desk so I can see them. And I have about 25 supplement bottles on the go. You might think, wow, that is bonkers. But I've actually done pretty sophisticated tests for nearly all of them. And they all serve a purpose. So I have my primarily from BioOptimizers. Stay tuned for the VIP kit. Thank you so much to BioOptimizers for listening to me and creating a bundle that is, you know, just for you guys, my VIP kit. And it's got all my favorite things from it that is going to help to support your skin and healthy gut because healthy insides means healthy outsides. So say, for example, my stomach's off or I've eaten something maybe I shouldn't have, or maybe I was exposed to something in food, I'll definitely lean into my gut supportive products. And from BioOptimizers, I really like their Gluten Guardian. I like their mass enzymes. They got hydrochloric acid supplements, pre-probiotics, really, really good stuff that um, I've had some GI issues from once I ate like the salmon quiche bad idea. It was from a deli. I should have known better. And in fact, I did know that it was going to be a bad situation. And I was certainly exposed to some type of toxin. I've had Wade Lightheart, one of the co-founders of BioOptimizers here on the show. And I kind of talked about that. And, you know, I had all the right things on hand to deal with gut issues. So I have my basically my gut stack, stacking, biohacking, stacking, is a term used with some of us in the biohacking space to, you know, we have a stack for this, we got a stack for this, we got a stack for this, right? So I got my my gut stack. And then I also have my my stress stack, right? Bad word. Adrenal support stack is a, is going to be a better word. So what when I take that is when I'm feeling a little tired, when I'm feeling like a little lit and I want to rip the head off somebody. I would never do that, but you know what I mean? It's an analogy, it's an example when we really just don't have a lot of tolerance for BS and we just don't have the wherewithal to deal with additional things other than surviving. So there's a couple of things that I take. Um, the Nucera here, um, not everything that I sell is on my e-store because it'll actually get my e-store flagged, which is just stupid. Health optimizing stuff is getting flagged on websites. This is like, this stuff goes deep. So just shoot me an email and uh, I'll get you organized with this stuff. So the Nucera is a chewable. So it's actually got a specific type of protein that works with your GABA receptors. So it helps you feel a little bit less stressed up. So it, it's kind of like a rescue product. You, you guys remember that rescue remedy, the dropper with like the yellow label. So you could use that under your tongue. This is a bit different. Uh, so this helps to give your body a specific type of protein just to help you kind of de-stress a little bit. Super clean, which is awesome. Um, I really like companies and supplement companies that are third-party independent lab tested. If you don't know what that means, basically a company, a manufacturer, a pharmaceutical company can put, have their data, make a study to say, blah, 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 blah. It does this, 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 this. And then they got this supplementary stuff that they also have to include. So what's crazy right now is with a lot of stuff happening in the world, that supplementary content that wasn't necessarily published in the paper is now there's huge faults that are being found in some of the big products that are on the market right now. And one of them, in particular, over 100 discrepancies in the supplementary that was um, kind of manipulated or left out or not accurately collect collected, like the proper double blind placebo, placebo group, control group, all of that's really important that you pay attention to the companies you're supporting, and if they're doing third party independent lab testing. So basically, anybody can hire a researcher to say something that they want to say about their product. Okay, you, this is what money buys. The power of third party independent lab testing is you have another company, then going through that data and analyzing it and coming to their own summaries and conclusion. Okay, so this is the benefit of working with third party independent lab tested products. The studies, the claims are not made by the companies that made them, which is going to have clearly an inherent bias to sell their product. But when you have third party independent testing coming in, then that's when discrepancies will be found 
or ways that things can be optimized and made even better. So you have to pay really close attention to claims that you're hearing, products that you're seeing. Are they third-party independent lab tested? Okay, really, really important that you know that, that just because a research paper is available doesn't actually mean, and sure, it can be peer-reviewed. I get reached out all the time, especially UK journals. And we can think of the New England Journal of Medicine, for example, British Medical Journal. I get reached out probably once or twice a week from these journals wanting me to submit research, because as you know, I'm a researcher, peer reviewer, board member of a journal. That's how I know this stuff. So tuning in here, you guys are getting like really the insider scoop here. And they always want me to pay to publish. For some reason, these UK publishing houses always want me to pay a service to get my stuff out there. It's like, why would I pay to write an article that's going to take me a long time, go through the whole submission process on the website, but pay them to publish? So some people do that. Some people pay to get their stuff out there and pay to get placements in certain journals. I do not. I work with journals that are valuing my time and expertise. I got 10 and a half years in the industry of doing rejuvenation, over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures under my belt. I'm adding content to their journal, also their conference. This is a, a big kicker. Do not reach out to me if you're hosting a conference and you want me to pay to attend to speak and bring in my amazing audience and bring in my expertise. This is just like, it's just like a slap in the face. And I have no tolerance for that. My bullshit meter... My BS meter is working full force lately. So that's really important for you to know about third-party independent lab testing for supplements, okay? Really, really key. So Metagenics is a company that's been formulated since for the last 30 years, okay? Non-GMO, all that good stuff. Uh, it is practitioner-only type of product. So just shoot me an email and I'll help you figure out what to get. So Exilarin, this one helps to increase energy and resistance to stress. So this is what's called an adaptogen formula. This is giving your body cofactors it needs to be able to adapt to certain things. Obviously, there's a much more technical explanation of it, but that's for layman's terms. That's all you need to know. This one's got ashwagandha, holy basil, amla, bacopa. And I kid you not, within about two or three days of taking my adrenal support stack, I really noticed more mental clarity, less physical fatigue, and I was able to show up in a way that's truest to who I am. Okay. And I just noticed my like stress and adrenal fatigue just like really kind of come down. The other one that I like to take is also the ad reset. So this helps to support cognitive function and help reduce mental fatigue. And this has got things like cordyceps, Asian ginseng, and redolia. So lots of good things that are going to support different pathways in your body. So this is basically, if I'm feeling tired, if I'm feeling stressed out, I'm going to take all three of these. Okay, I just have them at my desk so I can see them. I don't like to have supplements in a cupboard. And that's like your skincare. It's where products go to die. Then I also have a stack for hormone regulation. So say I'm just like feeling maybe like a little bit pms -y or like a little bit hormonal. So say uh, signs of that could be like anxiety or nervousness or just like snappy uh, when it doesn't really feel like you should be reacting that way. So that can be a sign that maybe your hormones are a little bit out of whack. So that's why we get a little choked up before we menstruate. We want to watch a, a, a sappy movie. We want to eat the ice cream. We want to eat the chocolate, right? Those are like PMS symptoms. All right. The, yeah, so that's, that's, those are my stacks. I got a gut stack. I got an adrenal support stack, sleep stack, and also a hormone stack. And I also have an immune boosting stack too. Uh, that stuff will definitely get my stuff flagged. But I work with uh, actually this one formulation, I have so many bottles of it to have on hand for myself, my friends, family, and also the community here. Okay. So I made the decision a while ago to make sure that I had things on hand in my home, that if I needed to, I could just get easy access to them. And they're right there. Okay, there's no like weird ingredients or anything illegal or unsavory in them. They're all third party independent lab tested research to be effective. And it's all about prophylaxis. It's all about taking a proactive approach to your health. And then you're also thus going to take a proactive approach to your aging process. It's all connected. 
So uh, immune support is really important. And then I also work with a very potent antioxidant that also helps with reducing inflammation in the body. So after certain things that are going around the planet, I'm actually seeing quite a few clients uh, losing hair after the big conundrum and uh, also having some um, kind of like lingering brain swelling or sort of like lingering uh, chronic inflammation. So there is one product that I work with that is actually tested and proven to be effective research articles to support it to actually reduce um, inflammation and brain swelling. So that's really interesting. Uh, so if I'm kind of like on the verge of something, I'll actually pop those. And I haven't had anything happen for actually quite a while. So that's not entirely true. The very beginning of 2020, I got pretty wrecked. And uh, anyways, that's, I, I definitely didn't feel great then. And I had, I've had my stack, I might've been able to nip it in the butt right at the get go. Okay. It's all about early, early uh, intervention. Okay. I'm just going to check a question here. We got Tiger Lily. What's up? Physical and mental exhaustion is what I think I have right now. And I feel sick from it. Oh, you le left that message at 1133. That's pretty cute. Tiger Lily, thanks so much for, for tuning in here and paying attention and taking this journey with me because we're all just figuring stuff out. These are wait times to figure stuff out that we've never had to figure out in the ways that we are now. We need to get our, our upgrades. We need to adapt. We need to evolve. We need to support ourselves. We need to lead by example and support our communities. So physical and mental exhaustion is basically, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I do feel like we are being manipulated on very deep, dark levels. So you need, need to have your protection up as well. Uh, Dr. Terrence Palmer, he's one of the leading, one of the leading clinicians in the space of science and spirituality out of the UK. He's got some great tips to help you stay protected and grounded and centered, balanced and aligned. I always recommend that you uh, do regular sessions with a psychotherapist or a counselor just to make sure you're not dealing with any negative thought forms and maybe connect, uh, maybe pulling and connecting to the collective consciousness, which can be very detrimental for your physical, mental and psychological strength and well-being. Your psyche is something that uh, is something that I've been doing a lot of work on to be psychologically strong, to have a very strong psyche. So it's going to take a lot to break this one over here. And I recommend that you start to develop um, psychological awareness and psychological strength because we're also moving into the holiday season. And you know what? I think I'd rather call this the consumer season. And it's really frustrating what I'm seeing. I'm seeing lots of kits. I'm seeing lots of holiday sales and stuff like that. You have to be really, really, really careful with what you're allowing in and around your body right now. So I hope that this was a really fun episode. I had a lot of fun uh, tuning in here and just being really honest with really, you know, how do things like exhaustion and adrenal fatigue impact our skin and aging process? They're all intricately, intricately connected, right? One is not separate. Our body, mind, spirit, energy equals whole human. Now, if there is an issue with one of those things, you're going to waver in one of the other aspects. So really, really important for you to be aware of that. All right. Let me know if you have any questions about today's episode, please send me an email. I would love to hear from you info at rachelvarga.ca. I'm here to really just show up, share what's working for me. I work with a lot of clients and I have over the last 10 and a half years. And I really see which clients are thriving and which ones are having really difficult times right now. And I'm figuring out ways to support myself and also them. And Jan Smeen says, thank you, Rachel. These are new names. It's nice to connect with you. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. <phone rings> Got to open and close that energy, guys. Thank you everyone for tuning in here, supporting me on this journey of just really trying to be the best humans we possibly can in these highly evolutionary times. 
it's tough. We're better and stronger together. So when, say, for example, you buy from my e-store, you book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you take my skin cams, it really helps me to give me the strength. And also, you guys all inspire me so much to then come in here and create. I just, I love creating a ton of free content to help you out. A lot of you listening are from all over the world that have been tuning in with me now for years. You've seen my evolution, and I'm just very transparent uh, because I, I just love teaching. I love teaching. Teaching is one of my passions, but I can't teach if I don't get inspired from each and every one of you. So thank you for your kind words. Any of you that are sending, you know, positive, lovely prayers my way, they're well received. And I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you have an amazing rest of your day. Share this episode. With somebody like this episode, share, 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 right? The more people that know how to make their body, mind, spirit, energy prep, stronger, have an awareness about sleep, have an awareness about how to mitigate things like adrenal fatigue, how to sleep better, you're going to have better skin. Because guess what, your body's not going to be freaking out dealing with inflammation all the time. And when your body is dealing with a ton of inflammation from environmental toxins, but also body, mind, spirit, energy interferences, you're going to have red acne scars that stick around longer, you're going to have hyperpigmentation, you're going to have accelerated aging with that loss of collagen and elastin is going to be accelerated. I don't know, I feel like at what how old am I 35 36? I feel like I look better than I did at 25. And I'm actually doing less than I ever did. I'm doing more like 90% at home stuff, skincare supplements, dermal rolling, at home peels, body supplements. Uh, even though I've had, you know, a couple of big health issues, but I've had to learn to overcome them. Otherwise, I'll fail and, and flounder. But don't be afraid of failing, you're gonna fail. Those of us that have this mindset around if we fail, we're just going to come back bigger, badder, and brighter. All right. So with that bigger, badder, brighter, my friends, have an amazing rest of the day. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you.